So now we go into the details. If you had looked in his paper, you go to table S1. That means it's buried in the supplementary. But what's the base that he's using? Oh, look at that. Calcium hydroxide again. Now he uses calcium deuteroxide, which is the same as calcium hydroxide. It's just a different isotope so that he can look at this by NMR. But this is calcium hydroxide. The very base that Dave, you said, was irrelevant. Almost everything James said in his series was totally irrelevant to abiogenesis. The fact that it degrades is irrelevant. Chiral induced spin selectivity, totally irrelevant. The variability in enantiomeric excess is irrelevant. The yield, again, is totally irrelevant. In general, this is irrelevant. It is also totally irrelevant. Correct. And also irrelevant. You said it was irrelevant, and then you used it in one of your own slides, as I had showed you. Then you brought on your expert, Lee Cronin, and he used it, and you even put it on one of his slides, and you didn't even notice it. Calcium hydroxide, right there. Again, his approach focuses on misrepresentation and unrelated tangents. And now your next expert comes in here, and he's doing carbohydrate synthesis, and he's using calcium hydroxide. So which is it, Dave? So the work of, of Benner is relevant on that basis, or is calcium hydroxide relevant? 